Welcome. Right now we're going to do a super quick walk through some of the options that you have in Canvas for making things visible and invisible to your students. And these are the publication functions and then three kinds of dates using due dates, available from dates, and until dates. And then I'll touch on a function of modules that lets you launch a whole bunch of things at once automatically. So some key questions here. We want to think about what happens when you publish something or leave it unpublished. Um, this has major effects for your students and whether they can see their due dates or not. We'll also talk about what from available from and until dates are and how they work, how we set them, how due dates work, which you may be more familiar with, um, the, the workaround for setting a due date for an ungraded discussion, which Canvas doesn't let you do in those terms, but there is a way to do it. And then finally touching on uh, the trick in modules that will let you do a, a kind of a batch release. So first of all, let's think about what it means to be unpublished. Unpublished is the default state for anything that you create in Canvas. So I'm talking here primarily about discussions, assignments, quizzes, and some other types of materials, um, depending on what you're doing, um, but primarily those three things. So unpublished is like a draft state. Uh, the most important thing to know here is that students don't know that unpublished items exist at all. Um, they have no idea that they're going to come up. So you could have an unpublished item that has a due date and you see it in Canvas, um, it has a point value, you see it in the grade book, but because it's unpublished, students won't know any of that and it won't appear on their calendars. So that's a very important thing to start with. Anything that you're gonna have students do needs to be published. And that's why these other dates are so important. Anything that's not published shows up with a circle with a line through it next to it. And anything that is published shows up with a green check mark. Published things are confirmed. Students know that they exist. You can publish a thing without it being totally ready for students to look at it. So say the prompt isn't done, um, but you want to get that date on the calendar. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. So restricting access to published items is the next thing that we want to cover. Um, and this is particularly useful because you may not have all of your prompts for discussions or assignments written in advance of the semester. You might not have all the questions in your quizzes written in advance of the semester, but you want students to know those things exist. You just don't want them to be able to see and interact with them yet. So that's where the available from and until dates come in. And this is something that you would set at the bottom of the item creation or editing screen. So say you've created an assignment, you click on that assignment, you hit edit, and you scroll all the way down. Um, this is something that's consistently there on any quiz assignment or graded discussion. So the available from date, basically before the available from date, students will not be able to access, uh, read about, interact with, or complete the assignment discussion or quiz. Um, they'll know it exists because it's published, but that's it. And on the available from date, and you can set a specific time as well, students will suddenly get access to that without you having to do anything because it's already published. So this is great if you want things to go live at, say, midnight. The until date is the inverse of the available from date, sort of. Students will still be able to see the assignment. They just won't be able to interact with an assignment to post a discussion or complete a quiz at that date. So you don't necessarily want your due date and your until date to match because that will prevent students from submitting late work. If you do want to prevent students from submitting late work, then maybe you do want them to match. It's also possible to not set an until date. And if students turn in late work, Canvas will notify you that the submission is late. And this is set in the same place as the um, available from date. It's important that the available, the until date is not the same as the due date. Students don't get a reminder for an available from date or an until date. They get a reminder for the due date. And the due date, again, is set in the same place as those other two dates. And this is the day and time that you want students to actually turn things in and what you want them to get the reminder about. So those are our three kinds of dates. Available from prevents students from seeing things before a certain date. Do gives them the reminder and until closes the assignment so they can't submit anymore. I say assignment, I also mean graded discussions and quizzes. Okay, so this is a, a slight sidebar, but it's a question that we get sometimes. Um, why can't I set a due date for an ungraded assignment? And this is a Canvas 
uh, language issue. You can, Canvas just doesn't call it a due date unless a thing has a point value. This is called a to do, add, add to student to do is the language they use. So this is a to do date. And when you're in that editing window for the discussion, uh, right below the block where you can enter the prompt, you'll see this list of options. And you've probably seen this list of options many times, and you might have just sort of skipped over um, what some of the checkboxes are. The last checkbox is add to student to do. And when you check that, you'll get a date pop up like we're seeing here. Um, so you wouldn't see that date field unless you checked that box. But then when you do that, you can set a date and students will get a reminder just like they would for a due date. Finally, uh, modules has a function that allows you to launch everything that's in a module all at once. Um, again, this is great if you want a whole bunch of stuff for the week to go live at, say, midnight on Monday, and you don't want to be publishing things at midnight on Monday. So you start out by publishing everything that's in that module, including, and this isn't published here, uh, the module itself. You can see that circle with a line through it. So this module is not published. So you'll go to the module, click that three dot button and hit edit. And you can do this anytime in advance. And the editing window will pop up and you'll see this checkbox option lock until click that and you'll get a date. And then what happens is at that date and time, all of the stuff in the module will become available. So this is not good if there's something in the module for that week that students need in advance, like a, a research paper prompt. Um, you would not want to use this setting because anything that's in that module will be locked until that time, even if it doesn't have an availability date on its own. But this can be a very useful feature if you have a whole batch of stuff you want to release at once. Okay, so that was a quick introduction to controlling visibility on Canvas. Um, thanks for being with us and thanks for taking care of your students.